Is the Sunto 7 a good watch? Sunto 7 is a decent smartwatch based on what Sunto offers. It offers reliable sports tracking capabilities, but it has some problems with Google's Wear OS. Things like unreliable heart rate monitoring and quirks that have made Wear OS difficult to use. The Sunto 7 is a Wear OS smartwatch designed for sports tracking, and marks the company's first foray into the world of full-fat smartwatches. 50mm size smartwatch features a 1.39-inch AMOLED display with 454 by 454 resolution and key hardware features. That includes GPS, with color maps you can download for offline use. There are also heat maps for a variety of activities to help you find the best routes in new places. Sunto's own sports tracking software supports up to 70 modes, including cycling, open water swimming, and more niche pursuits like dancing and obstacle races, which offer basic real-time metrics. The Sunto 7 has some really likable features, but it's undermined by some of the same issues we've seen time and time again with Wear OS smartwatches. The battery life isn't great, the software in particular feels undercooked, and the uncertainty over whether it will get a big Wear OS update is a big turnoff. With its hulking 50mm case, the Sunto 7 sure doesn't look like your average Wear OS smartwatch. Choose from 8 different looks, and Sunto offers either a stainless steel or lighter, and more expensive, titanium bezel. It's also got a silicone strap or a new microfiber textile strap for a softer feel that can still hold up when things get sweaty. The straps can be removed if you want to switch it up. Sunto is known for sports tracking, especially when it comes to exploring the outdoors, so it's bringing features that are well suited for when you want to go adventuring. It also has built-in GPS, QZSS, and Beidou satellite systems, an altimeter for altitude tracking, and an optical heart rate sensor for tracking heart rate during exercise and during the day. That HR sensor data also feeds into training features like training load, recovery, and training effect to better know when to train and when to save the tougher sessions for later. Though you can use third-party apps and Google's Fit apps to track exercise, Sunto has its own software that you can access via the top right button. From here you get access to running, cycling, swimming, pool and open water, as well as subcategories like trail running and indoor cycling. Sunto's decision to take the lead in sports features was a smart move since Google's aren't up to scratch. Sunto 7 brings the smartwatch features it hasn't offered on its own watches for the first time. It picks Google's Wear OS, which will be getting a pretty big overhaul with Google partnering with Samsung to transform the smartwatch platform. Sunto has yet to confirm whether the 7 will get the new update or not. So for now you've got a watch that runs Wear OS 2.0. Google Pay, notifications, and other features work without a hitch, and Sunto's software works well with Google apostrophe S. The Snapdragon 3100 processor is paired with 1GB RAM and 8GB of storage, so it's not the latest 4100 plus platform, but generally it's a smooth experience. Sunto doesn't mention the battery capacity, but it comes up short compared to other watches in the lineup like the Sunto 9 and the Sunto 5. With sports tracking in play, it lasted a day and a half in our tests. Battery drop-off overnight was around 25% and using GPS saw the battery drop by over 20% compared to less than 5% with a Garmin Forerunner 55. If you spend a lot of time tracking outdoor activity, you'll be reaching for the proprietary charging cradle fairly frequently. Alternatively, you can switch to good GPS tracking and battery-saving GPS modes. If you just want to see the time, Sunto offers a basic battery-saver mode that just lets you see the time.